All right. A couple of days ago, I was uh, working on my, on my project, and uh, I was trying to make some molds by mixing cornstarch with silicone, and I accidentally dropped uh, this mix on the ground. And uh, next morning, came check it out. There's some else dropping on it. Okay. So a day passed by. I heard some smell. A smell like dead rat. And here we go. Ten feet away is this little guy lying in here. Stink up my place. Now silicone is not very tasty. But because I mix with cornstarch, uh, the little mouse couldn't resist. You can see some mouse dropping right next to my silicone mix right there. So basically this little guy here didn't even make it through the night. So death comes fast. So we have silicone here as a polymer. Cornstarch is also a polymer. So when you mix them all together, you got this. This is from my previous project. This is the part I messed up anyway. So you can see here, it's very, very flexible and very tough. So imagine what happens when you eat this. It's not gonna be digested. Now I'm not sure what mechanism here that can kill the mouse so quickly. I mean I've seen mouse eating plastic all the time and they don't die. But this kills the mouse so quickly. Alright, here we go. It's the ugly bit. Check this out. Oh my god. Is that nasty or what? I know this is the way nature recycle itself, but oh my god. Doesn't have to be this ugly. Now I have to deal with this. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is so nasty. It smells so bad. Ew. And soon, this is gonna grow wing and fly all over the place. You know, people say pigs can't fly. Mice can't fly. Whoa, look at that. What is that? The thing come, comes out of the maggot's body. There you have it folks, if you want to kill some rats and you're in a hurry and have some silicone and starch around, a mix of 50-50 silicone and cornstarch will get the job done. Uh, that's it for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.